So I just got done making one video on getting investors started and I checked my comments and Mr. Diego 209 Franco uh, commented and thank you Frank uh, uh, Franco I'm going to say Diego I'm not sure what to call you here. Anyways thank you for commenting and uh, you asked me what I think about Codexus. Well to be completely honest I've never heard of it. So why don't we just make a little video and go over and take a look at it. So I did a search on Codexus to find out what it was, because I have no idea. Uh, protein engineering experts for pharmaceuticals and enzymes and stuff. That's interesting. Uh, discovers, develops, and sells protein catalysts. It also offers intermediate chemical products that are used for further chemical processing. And Codex biocatalyst panels and kits that enable customers to perform chemistry screening. Protein catalyst screening, engineering services, protein engineering used to discover biotherapeutic drug candidates for targeted human diseases so this is pharmaceutical science basically company stuff way above my head pharmaceuticals company manufacturing enhances the pharmaceuticals company's manufacturing productivity and efficiency or outsourcing the manufacture of the intermediates and active pharmaceutical ingredients it sells its products to pharmaceutical manufacturers through direct sale and business development all right all right I like it. I like it. So let's take a look at it. Well, first thing, let's look at its financials right off the bat. Uh, annual. Okay. Well, let's, what market cap is it? It's a small cap, right? 844 million. All right. I have nothing against small caps. They have lots of growth potential. Um, quarterly. So 5 million, 14 million, 16 million, and 6 million. So their revenue is fluctuating quite a bit. Um, net income, that's not a good sign. So they're not profitable. Uh, negative 19 million, negative seven, negative eight. You're counting on this actually hitting or discovering something that's, that's not discovered yet, you know, which is a big thing in pharmaceuticals. I mean, that's what happens. You discover a new drug and you know, it blows up and they make billions. Um, so you're kind of counting on that in this case, this is not a profitable company. Um, Applicable to common shares, of course, it's not profitable. Let's look at quarterly. Let's see how it's doing this year. So eight, seven, eight, three, three, and five this year, and with expenses, they're still not making a profit. They did the first quarter, well, by first quarter I mean last quarter of 2017, um, but they haven't been profitable since. So they're still on the same, you know, research. We're, we're re doing research and development, trying to discover this. They're not profitable. They're not making a profit, which explains why they aren't paying a dividend at all. Um, let's go to their balance sheet quarterly, which is the most current. Um, I don't know why they don't have 2018 in here. Oh, that's annual. There we go. Much better. So let's look at their current assets of 68 million and liabilities of 17. That's good. Uh, so they can easily pay their debts. Total assets are 78.6 to compared to 23. Their debt ratio isn't too shabby there. Um, overall net balance sheet, 51 million. Okay. Let's look at their actual debt. They don't have any actual debt at all. So it's only liabilities versus assets. Okay. So I like the fact that it's no debt. I really do. I don't like the fact that they're not a profitable company. Um, I mean, they're obviously doing lots of investing and lots of research and development, but I would not invest in this simply for this reason right here. I don't invest in companies that don't make a profit. It's just that simple. Um, if I wanted to make a speculative bet and put a very small uh, bet on this, a very small amount of my portfolio on it, then great. You know, I think everybody should have their own favorite company or favorite speculative company in their portfolio. Just like Lydia has Roku, which I would never personally invest in until it starts making a profit. But you know, she loves that company. She has great hopes for it. She believes it will be not only profitable, but really exceed in the future. And that's great. As long as it's not a major portion of your portfolio. Um, so if that's what this is to you, then, you know, great. But I would personally would not buy this, uh, Diego. Uh, Franco, let me know what to call you. <laughs> so that's my opinion on um, Codexus. All right, I hope that helped. Later, guys.
all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate it uh be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and if you like the video hit that like button for me um if you want to hear any specific type of information anything that you're interested in you have any questions just drop me a comment down below let me know what you think let me know your opinions on this video or any other video i've made and if you know anyone else that might be interested in this video please be sure to share it on your social media and share the knowledge thanks guys